In this video, we break down your Independence Day forecast as well as the severe weather potential for the next three days. And is there a tropical storm in the Atlantic and will more follow? And will this drought continue in the Midwest as well as the heat wave? I'll also be looking at your near term forecast, all that coming up in this video. Hi y'all, welcome back and happy Independence Day. Looks like the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced risk for southeastern Montana and southwestern North Dakota with a slight risk being issued for northern Kansas, the central half of Nebraska, all of South Dakota, far western Minnesota, far northeastern Wyoming, and the areas surrounding the enhanced risk zone in Montana. Now your main risks today are going to be all hazards possible today. Now your tornado risk today will be a 5% chance in southeastern Montana and far western North Dakota with a 2% chance being issued for southern Nebraska, and far northern Kansas, northern South Dakota, far western Minnesota, southwestern North Dakota, and the little area out here outside of the 5% chance in Montana. Now your Donkey Kong size hail outlook. Looks like there's a 15% hatch for southeastern Montana, southwestern North Dakota, northern South Dakota, with a regular 15% chance for far western Minnesota, northwest South Dakota, little sliver of central North Dakota, central Montana, southern Nebraska, and northern Kansas. Now your damaging wind threat today will be a pretty high 30% hatched area in southeastern Montana, southwest North Dakota with a 15 percent hatch for western South Dakota, southwest North Dakota with a regular 15% chance for damaging winds. For northern Kansas, much of Nebraska, eastern South Dakota, far western Minnesota, central North Dakota, central half, and central half of Montana. Now your Independence Day severe weather outlook looks like there is a couple slight risks issued for eastern Montana, central to eastern Montana, actually. Southwest North Dakota and western South Dakota. And with another slight risk being issued over here in northeast to eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and southeast Minnesota. With your main risks being a damaging wind threat and a large Donkey Kong size hail threat. Now your tornado threat is just going to be a 2% chance just in the Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois area. Right here, my rosette. Now your damaging wind and hail threat, it's a 15% chance in both risk areas. Now your day three outlook. There is a slight risk issued pretty much in the same areas in eastern, central to eastern Montana, northwest to central South Dakota, and southwestern North Dakota, with a marginal risk spanning from Michigan and Indiana up into Montana. So if you're in any of these areas from where I was at the next three days, please be weather aware. And know where to go when those severe war warnings are issued. Worst of severe weather will occur. Looks like today, the worst of it will occur from 6 to 12 tonight. With some renegades firing up. Fueling off of the thermodynamics from the warm temperatures. Meeting up with the kinematics. Which is the wind shear. Developing some tornadoes. Out there right around, I'd say, midnight, 1 o'clock. That's an eastern time, but over there it's probably 10 o'clock. You know, tapering off right around 7, 8 o'clock for July 4th. The worst of that will happen right around 4 to 8 p.m. It's going to be just a damaging wind and small hail threat. Now that's going to be happening right around the time when y'all will have your July 4th plans, your barbecues, some of y'all be having your sparklers out there. And old Jimmy's going to be sitting in the old 
and a rain deck chair, not knowing a severe weather storm's coming his way. Next thing he knows, he's drinking some alcohol, and next thing you know, damaging winds come along and knock old Jimmy over, and he's like, what's going on? But anyways, Tuesday, looks like, looks like uh, that'll happen early morning hours. Now let's look at your SIG tours, your tornadic parameters, and see where exactly tornadoes could happen. Now, looks like right around 10 to 10, the worst of it, it's over here in southeastern Montana, according to the NAM. Now let's pull up a sounding. This is one of the PDS tornado soundings, or just regular tornado sounding. There was a PDS tornado sounding earlier. Looks like it has been downgraded. Major wind shear. Your thermodynamics and cape off the charts. So please, if you're in this area, please have a way to get a warning. Could save your life and have a safety action plan in place for when a tornado warning is issued. And don't rely on a stupid siren. Siren mentalities has cost a lot of lives in tornadic storms. Now let's look at your surface base cape. This is what fuels those storms. Not off the charts before July 4th. Looks like cape is off the charts over here in Iowa. Feeding those storms for development. Now let's look at your July 4th forecast. Looks like your temperatures for your July 4th. It's going to be steamy for much of the country. In hundreds in the plains, town to Texas, Indiana, 92, Illinois, over in Ohio Valley, 90s. Over in the northwest, mid 80s. Down in the south, 90s, plains, 100s. Out in the west, low 80s, northwest. It's going to be the nice spot over there. But now let's look at what it's going to be like. According to the GFS, right around 8 o'clock, looks like it could be, could have some spotty showers over here in the Ohio Valley, the Mid-South, spotty showers too, Northeast, looks like it's going to be dry for y'all, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, um, 10 o'clock in the Plains, spotty showers over here, so it looks like y'all will be okay over there, and Montana looks like it's not going to be okay for y'all to have fireworks. It's going to be rained out. It looks like much of the country is going to be alright for fireworks, except for if you're in the northwest or the south. Spotty showers down here. What? Drought conditions, drought like conditions are like in your area. It looks like out west, terrible drought conditions over there. Exceptional drought to extreme drought to moderate drought risks. So over here, burn bans are probably most likely in effect over here. So. July 4th, if you're setting off fireworks, be careful. Have a garden hose next to you. Don't want those wildfires occurring. Now here in the Midwest, it's only abnormally dry. There's some moderate drought risks going on. Threats, not risks. But as far as July 4th, I'm not telling you not to set fireworks off. But if you do... Please have a garden hose next to you. Don't want those wildfires happening. But please celebrate July 4th. Other than severe weather, it looks like there will also be a flooding threat. With a slight risk of excessive rainfall for northeastern Montana, far western North Dakota, southeastern North Dakota, northeastern South Dakota, central Minnesota, Southeastern Arkansas, far western Mississippi, and northern sliver Louisiana. Your July 4th excessive rainfall outlook looks like there's another slight risk for central to southern Wisconsin, far northern Illinois, southeastern Minnesota, and northeastern Iowa. Your day three outlook for excessive rainfall looks like there's another slight risk for Southwestern Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Southeastern Ohio, Northwestern Virginia, and Far Eastern Kentucky. Now, looking 72 hours out, looks like this 
those areas that are in the slight risk for excessive rainfall where my arrows are pointing at looks like uh, two to three inches of rain are possible now we look at 120 hours out even more along this area here well needed rain out here we already have a hurricane out west of mexico it's already a cat one which is with wind speeds of 80 mile an hour max gas of 100 mile an hour moving west northwest turning into a category Category 2 by July 5th at 2 p.m. Hurricane Bonnie. Right now we already had Tropical Storm Colin that developed randomly in the coasts of Carolina. Now it looks like that's already diminished into a low pressure system. But as of now, looks like we don't have any concerning advisories issued. But we'll take a look at what the temperatures of the water are. Looks like the temperatures of the water. Temperatures of the water are going to be about 28 degrees Celsius. It's right around 80 degrees. It's basically bath water. So if there was anything developing out there, it could turn into something pretty catastrophic. Maybe a Cat 2, Cat 3. I'm predicting a pretty bad hurricane season this year. Pretty active hurricane season this year, so please have a preparedness plan in place for when hurricanes do form yes. out here in the near term to see what we could have in store. Now it looks like Tuesday, Tuesday night, and now it says Wednesday, 00Z, that's 8 o'clock on the same day which is Tuesday that's just when Z time turns over but anyways it's like 8 o'clock on Tuesday the northwest could be seeing lots of rain along with the southwest and the eastern half of the United States the central half of the United States is going to stay dry it's like 8 o'clock in the morning Wednesday the northeast is going to be getting lots of rain the northern plains is going to be getting hammered with rain but much of the country being dry except for the Mid-South as well. 8 o'clock at night on Wednesday. Looks like the Central Plains, the Midwest area, and we're getting rain. The Northwest getting rain again. The Southwest staying dry, which is not good for their fire conditions. Looks like Thursday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Looks like some heavy rain setting up. Could be some severe weather happening that day possibly over there in South Dakota some rain in the northwest and mid-south staying dry for the plains in the northeast now that storm is taken off northeast by Thursday night into Minnesota with some showers in the mid-south Ohio Valley northwest again this is according to the Canadian model the CFS model. Now, Friday morning, looks like that same system's taken off over there into Wisconsin. With much of the country being dry, spotty showers over Kansas, spotty showers over in Mississippi, Idaho, Oregon, Montana, Northeast being dry. Now, Friday. Thursday night, rather. Northeast getting rain. South getting rain. Desert states getting well needed rain. And by Friday morning, looks like the high valley is going to stay dry. The mid south is going to stay dry. Rain over by Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Looks like the Montana, those western states over here, where my arrow's at, it's going to be getting the rain. In the far west, it's going to be pretty dry. But by Friday night, looks like the upper Midwest could see some rain. Northeast staying dry, mid south staying dry, plains staying dry, and the west getting lots of rain. Now, your temperature forecast your 
July 4th forecast is going to be in the hundreds, 90s, 80s, typical summertime heat. Now your July 4th nighttime forecast, your lows will be in the 70s for much of the country, except for the far northeast and the northwest part right here of Marrow's Ass. It's going to be in the 50s. Lucky dogs. Your day three outlook, Tuesday, sweater meter off the charts, hundreds, upper 90s, mid 80s for the northeast, lower 90s for the northern plains, west to northwest part of the country, low 80s, and then the desert southwest, upper 90s. Now your low temperatures, about the same, mid upper 70s, low 80s. 50s and 40s over here in the mountains, northwest part of the country, northeast part of the country as well. Your day four outlook, sweater meter again off the charts. Hundreds in the plains, the south, Ohio Valley, Midwest, with low 80s up in the north way, north <clears throat> northeast, with temperatures rising out west. Looks like you're in the mid 80s, mid to upper 80s. 94, southern, southern Idaho. In your day four outlook. Or your nighttime. Like mid 80, mid 70s. To upper 50s. In your day five outlook by Friday. Looks like it's going to be in the hundreds. Again. Pretty much the same pattern all week, basically. Typical summertime, sweating our tuchuses off. That'll be it for this video. And if you're setting fireworks off tomorrow, please be careful. Don't blow your fingers off. Don't lose a leg because you, you're being dangerous or being an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Nobody likes an idiot. Unless you're in a John Knoxville movie, those are funny. Beavis and Butthead movies, those are pretty good. But don't be a moron. Be safe with those fireworks. And be sure to water those trees, bonsais, plants, vegetables, chickens, anything lives outside, water it. But that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, leave it a like, comment, and please consider subscribing. And I'll see y'all in the next video.